right. A happy New Year and welcome back. Good morning to you. This is Hashtag Goa in the morning and I'm Brian Sanko, by the way. There's a, there's a clip I was watching on YouTube before we come on air that shows you should smile before they run you into the shot. So I got it right. And Happy New Year once again. <laughs> I also argued with a friend, like at what point do you stop telling people Happy New Year? You can also tell me. Happy New Year with January. But I feel like for the better part of this month, uh, also Merry Christmas. Uh, I'm told Merry Christmas doesn't end in December. It continues till end of Jan. I don't know if you agree with me on that one. <laughs> but for me, Imeisha, please use say Merry Christmas. Say to Happy New Year. If possible, Eka to Good Morning Peke. Because at this point, did you also see the meme when you say my Archer story is a happy new year in 2024. We are done, okay? And that's how we begin <laughs> our 2024 itself right here. This is MCM and as always, we've asked you a question on our socials and we are asking you, Bushali Pareti a January ama Tungoze Adi Mweziishe. And also for, for those that already paid like till February, show us your ways, please. That's the only thing you need to do on that hashtag which is in the morning. And at Brian Sanko 101 at Y254 channel underscore Pale X Facebook. No, Instagram Pekakendo underscore. The rest is just Y254 channel, including Facebook and uh, threads. And uh, joining us uh, live in studio, these are not new faces on your screen. Uh, they've been here before and they'll continue being here. Hopefully, that's a prayer to me to them. Uh, next to me is Bobby Gashuru and then uh, Byron Otieno. Karibuni sana. And first of all, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to start off with the person who was telling me I'm a traveler, La Jana. How are you feeling? How was, how was the holidays for you? Uh, my holiday started right on 25th. I was here on 24th. Uh -huh. Yeah, we did a show on 24th. And then I traveled on 25th. So the whole day I was traveling on 25th. Yeah. Then after, after that, Christmas. Mm. How odd. We went out of Barbara Yusiko. Yeah, but not much. Few, like mm. handful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so then I got rest, I can say. The week uh, plus, it was good. Yeah, so uh, so we live home 26th. Yeah. Oh. All right. Uh, so, so you celebrated, did you? Anyways, is it Christmas in Yilikopita? How many Boxing Day will you celebrate? Yeah, I think I celebrated the Boxing Day. <laughs> so you celebrated because <laughs> Christmas will go engaged in between, like traveling. Yeah. All right, Karibu back to Kenya. I mean, welcome back to Nairobi. That's what I meant. What about you, Bobby? How was your Christmas experience? Uh, I think I spent Christmas alone. You spent it alone? Yeah. Why? So it was, it was more of me, myself, and I. It was quite interesting. It was an interesting uh, experience. Ni kama solo date. It was more like kama solo date. <laughs> Is it one of those things? <coughs> it reaches to a point as a man in life you must. Is it one of those moments that you decided today? Christmas ni mimi na ni mimi. Christmas ni mimi. Ni mekua mtu mkubwa. Oh, mm. right. So, Being yeah. an adult, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't wait for you to hate it or love it. Please <laughs> don't hesitate to give us an update. Are you loving your adult life or you, you wish uh, you were children? <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm still children. Uh, uh, okay, adult life is tricky. It's a tricky, it's a tricky part. You, you're not sure to love it. You're not sure about hating it. You hate it, then in an instant you are actually loving it. Then when you're loving it, the next moment you're actually you hating it. it. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. But it, it was a nice Christmas though. Mm -hmm. Are yeah. there maybe things that you did for that day? Uh, on Christmas, mm, I just spent most of my time in the kitchen. I had some guests come over <laughs> later in the day, so yeah. Now that it was yeah. nothing much. Right. Mm -hmm. We will spend time in the kitchen. We will figure how is the situation, by the way, because it's usually surprising, uh, Ome travel, and it's so exhausting. Mm -hmm. Like, Ome travel the whole night, time, the whole day, and then when Africa home, they are expecting you to be all bubbly and all up in the space, but you're tired, you want to sleep. Because also transitioning from Nairobi, I feel like Nairobi is like another country on its own. There's a certain, there's a certain mental change that you feel when you exit Nairobi mm -hmm. to go to maybe a different place, including coast. I've been to coast a lot. Uh, like the vibe is different. Akunile rush, yeah, come on Nairobi. Everybody's heading to work or coming to work or somebody's being robbed. I'm a, like you're just being careful even walking on the street as mm -hmm. compared to a, when you're in coast, I'm a, in Nakuru or any other city. Also mentally, it feels different. Did you guys get that uh, a father sense of like, <sighs> out of the city finally, mm -hmm. and it feels <laughs> differently? 
Yeah, actually, that was the thing. When I traveled, I didn't go home, per se. I went to the coast. You went to? Coast. To the coast. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so, oh. the change, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Uh -huh. Maybe no. the nitty gritties? Because uh, right now, please, um, to also tell us, how was your Christmas day? Because I remember here we had a, we had a, yeah, we had somebody performing. Did you enjoy it? Please also let us know. Because I did, because I was the one hosting. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just the new year, so we are starting on a new page. Kila kitu, but the kila kitu tunafanya is new. Even the words we are using, all of them are new. We are learning. It's like we are starting day one of broadcasting. <laughs> so, to keep make a mistake, tell us. Apa Sakwa, yeah. Imagine Sakwa being ready to be corrected. Have you ever seen me in that mode? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm special. Anyways, uh, uh, how was that? So, uh, for my Christmas day, there's not much to tell. I could say I woke up very early in the morning to catch my bus, and that's all. Sitting in the bus all the way to Mtito, and then from there to Mombasa. Yeah. Pretty much when I was in Mombasa, it was around six already. I was too exhausted to do anything by then. Just went in, showered, and caught some sleep. Yeah. That was on Boxing Day? That was on 25th. Oh, okay. So, the Boxing Day, I went to the beach, I could say, uh, relaxed a little bit. That was nice. Yeah, and the change of climate and air, the heat or something, away from the cold of Nairobi, that was nice mm -hmm. for my Christmas. It was just good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like the way you're painting a picture for it. You know. mm -hmm. but, but also, when you're doing these holidays, there's usually, they're usually short. Most holidays, there's never, unless you're one of those people who go for like six months off. I think maybe there's a certain level to it. Ama maybe ni mimi tu sijafika yo level ya kuenda like a six month holiday. Ni ile like it's a thousand percent holiday. No work, no phone calls, ama no emails, anything work, no. Uh, it's usually short, especially the Christmas one. So as you're celebrating, you're also mark timing for Jan, yeah. which this is the second <laughs> week of it. And uh, it's also back to school. So yeah. there's a rush to get back to the city or get back to where you school, get back to where you work and just get in shape as well. Also, there's, a, the, 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 there's also a certain mood that comes with just January. I remember last year, Turkot Nasema, be careful, January could be having 45 days to some people. And I was prophesying, Prophet Sakwa here said <laughs> for him, Sakwa, <laughs> for him, huh? it's going to be 15 days. Like it's, <laughs> it's going to be a very short month. So I don't know, wh wh why, why can't it just be like any other month? Uh, December ndo yuhi ilikuwa na shere. Tumekuja January, it's a new year. So you just take it easy. Mbona ile nini story na rent ziko hapo na pressure. Story za cook. Your landlord, kwanza saizi most landlords are just monitoring. Especially place yenye kuna tokens, zinalia kama ambulance. Wanya <laughs> wajarudi. It's, it's an ambulance. Ambulance 101. Uh, people have not paid their bills. Apparently some of them will even come back mid-month. Uh, maybe is it because uh, Christmas or the holidays consume a lot of our resources, especially when we begin the new year? Bobby? Mm, I'd, say, I'd say from the holidays, okay, it's or we like expect, we are more of expected to spend, to spend a lot on the holidays and sometimes we go overboard on our spending. So such due to the holiday, ni Christmas, eh, unataka tuke, ukitaka kitu, Unende, ukitaka kitu, unende, but hatuangali pia, there's a next month coming. It's a next year. Kwa za tukisema ni next year, auna unani kama ni kama ni mkua December, uko, iko mbali. In a few days, you're back to January. Everything now comes, just dawns upon you that you have bills to pay, you have, you have a lot. You have a lot on your plate to yeah. handle. So yeah. you will just be rushing from here and there, here and there. Yeah, uh, it becomes so a very long month for, for some of us, for some wow. people. Wow, wow. In short, what you're trying to say is that it's going to be a tough week. <laughs> and the, the next couple coming two weeks are going to be tough for some people. Uh, people are trying to know to like come back, come back. They're trying to get back to the system, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. But that detoxing and that dis disconnect is really, it's, 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 it's divine. Like, it's, mm. it's a good feeling just detaching from the city yeah, it's a good and feeling. just going to a different place. It mentally just, ref it's refreshing, mm. I'd say. I don't know if you, be, did you experience that refreshing? Uh, yeah, sure, sense? sure. Yeah. And now that I'm back, I think I'm good for a start. Though I'm still exhausted, but okay. I'm good to go. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> I'm also looking at, you know, the dieting part. Uh, there's a meme that I saw online yesterday in your colonial share. <laughs> what people ate during December <laughs> and now what they're eating <laughs> in January. <laughs> like cabbage is going to be normalized. <laughs> it's back to cabbage. Yeah. Back to back so, to uh, is it because you spent everything in, in, in December? And also, for people that usually do fi uh, financial, uh, I know in the entrepreneurship segment, we'll, we'll, we'll have someone who will talk about storing the finances. Why is it also so hard to just budget financially for the following year? Especially for people that have families. And all that. It, there's even a report in the dailies today that you know, the money that was disbursed has not even figured mm -hmm. in the accounts of the people that are supposed to have that money. So there's a cash crunch, even publicly. Mm -hmm. See a tattoo story like individually, <laughs> even to, <laughs> yes. So is it because a lot of people don't lack that plan financially, future plans for finances and how to use them? See, I think I'd say this: uh, people need to normalize uh, doing like having a having a budget. We need to normalize having a budget. We don't just work with the money because you have money in the pocket. You feel like you can do anything and everything. Yeah. You need to have a budget, you need to have a plan on what you're going to do. You don't just, you don't just wake up because you have money, then you just go and do something. Tomorrow yeah. is coming. I remember, I remember my, my dad used to tell me, uh, if you want something, just come tell me in advance. So if yeah. I want, maybe if I wanted to travel to, to, to see my friends, I'll tell him in maybe a week or two weeks prior, so that when that time comes, he has already budgeted for it. He used to tell me money does not grow on trees or anywhere. <laughs> I have to budget. He used to tell me I have to budget for each and every other day for this family. Yeah. We spend this much so that tomorrow we may have a little more to, to, to do to work with. Yeah. So you, we don't just we I think we need as Kenyans we need to normalize having budgets. We need to learn how to work within our means. Yeah. Yeah. But also, uh, there's someone who talked about bulk shopping. I don't know if you've ever tried it in a design. Like you shopped for December, mm -hmm. but that shopping is going to carry over to the following year, or the following month. Mm -hmm. Actually, mm -hmm. year either. <laughs> so we'll come here. Yeah. But uh, we, we are trying. <laughs> 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 we are trying. Like I said, we, everything to Nafanya, it's, we, are, we are back mm -hmm. to journalism 101. Mm -hmm. Introduction to journalism. <laughs> So bulk shopping, does it really help? Do you think it can be a good thing, especially for those that did heavy shopping mm -hmm. for the holidays? And maybe it's time to just we school lesana, we see spend mafuta mingi, we see pick an askari mingi. And show, in fact, at some point, fast kidogo. And, 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 sh and, and shout out to, or to our church. There's some churches that have introduced 21 days of prayer and fasting. <laughs> that can help save <laughs> food in the house. Don't you think so, guys? Don't you think 21 days of prayer and fasting? <laughs> Imagine you're only eating breakfast and then mm -hmm. eat supper. Or uh, you eat breakfast, you eat lunch, and then you'll not take supper or dinner, depending on your level of life. <laughs> yeah, either. Don't you think? I think that is a good way yeah, of maneuvering January. In as much as we say January is difficult, I think times are changing. I always love to say times are changing because indeed they are. See, the weight with which we took Christmas and the festive season some days back is not the same weight that we take it with nowadays. Like I told you, I was traveling on the 25th. And in as much as there were few people on the streets, the businesses were running mostly as usual. People are now working. You see, there was an attitude towards the festive season, towards December, where people approach December with a very resigned attitude. Yeah, we're getting to the end of the year. I've been saving up for this period. And that is whatever they were looking forward to, just spending whatever they've been saving up yeah. during this period. But now times are changing. People are changing too. Yeah. I could say nowadays people have a better plan for January than it used to be. And look yeah. at it with the previous CSS of education, whatever they did to the parents and the education system, where we had uh, the examination results being released prior to the celebrations. Yeah, this helped uh, the parents. It brought a new perspective, a change of perspective like people would see. Now the results are here. Now the truth will dawn. My child is about to go to high school. Uh, this person is about to approach another level of education. I need the school fees. I need this and this. Uh, so the times have changed, yes. I could say. But we're still not there. January will be January always. Yeah. 
it always will be January. Also, you've made, you've made really an interesting <laughs> point. What do you think a lot of people struggle in January? It is about and that. there's a word you said, uh, a settled attitude, because you're going to the holiday and we, we don't care about the next month. Mm -hmm. it just sort. There's even somebody who said, don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will sort itself out. Mm -hmm. But for me, I think worry about tomorrow because <laughs> tomorrow is coming to <laughs> eat you up. Worry is on its way. So I think uh, <laughs> it's all about how long the year has been. Mm -hmm. And now I need some rest before I approach a new year. Yeah. So it's about what we do for this rest. And as much as people may try to say, I think just traveling from the city, going back, maybe come on and a home, we shall go. That is costly in a way. Because plus you have to carry some things. You have to go there when you're there together as a family. It's not light even eating it as much as food is available at Okonyubani, but still the economy is economizing us too. Yeah. So it is not as cheap as we could say to feed the entire family. If a family of 50 is brought together, these people need a lot of money to feed. These people need a lot of money to do a lot of things here. So that by the time that uh, the contribution, let's say the family is doing all this together, and in a family there is a strong person financially, and there's always that person that is weak there. I could say there's a parasite and then there's the host in every family. Yeah, and the parasites are majorly on Konga Wengi. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this person is drained. Mm. Uh, let's say in a, let's use this analogy. Mtu uh, moja ndia in the city. This is a working person. So Sakwa, you're working. Uh, you're from Nairobi. I'm not working. No, <laughs> let's say. I'm, I'm on vacation. I, 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 I say this an analogy. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing with you. Uh, yeah. So, and then there are other 25 members of the family who have farms. These people grow crops. And they have everything back there at home. But now you're brought together. You people. You see the expectation from you. Yes. It's quite high than these people. These people have maize. They have wasted maize from the farms. They have mm -hmm. beans. They have this and this. Mm -hmm. They have food stuff. But then a lot is expected from you financially. Yeah. So when you're from home, when you're coming back to for the new year, you're drained. If you didn't yeah. have an alternative plan, that is a very good plan per se, because you cannot just let everyone down when you're yeah. at home. So you're drained financially. If you didn't have this plan and then you're coming back to the city for a start, then it becomes quite difficult to pay your bills, settle yeah. your rent and everything. Mm. So that is why mostly you find January, in as much as people are complaining, it is the people <laughs> in the cities that are lamenting so much about January because yeah. the transition from the cities to home is draining financially every mm. year. Around Even the transition period. back as well is, is, mm. is, is draining. Sure. Mm. So this is why you find there's a lot of complaints about January because like people are not financially stable. They are not financially ready. In as much as I rested for the year, the last year, now I'm coming back for a new year, I'm not financially fresh mm. to kick off the new year. I, li I like that part. Financially fresh. <laughs> are you financially fresh? <laughs> are you financially fresh? Uh, raise your hand. <laughs> Uh, once again, for the last time, are you fine? <laughs> but anyways, Al, do, do you also think uh, people get lost or get carried into, you know, January is hard. Uh, January na kuanga ngomo, like, mm -hmm. uh, it becomes a thing. And to, it, not exactly. I know people who are boiling right now. They are, they are peak in their life right now. Mm -hmm. They're not struggling. But because everybody is singing the same song, you get carried along and get lost into it. You, you, nila, nila tu, uh, still there, like when we say, Hakuna pesa. Nairobi hakuna pesa. Ama, mimi ni mesota. Ni umesota peke yako. Yeah. Umu ingine, umu ingine pia kisiki umesota. Aizi kuambia, mimi ni kona pesa. Utasikia vibaya. Why not? Why can't you say, mimi ni kona pesa? Ya pana. Because you're afraid ata kuomba urgently. Six K. Sasa, atanza kukweka kwa budget yake sasa. You'll be part of his budget. Anajua, sakuwa kona kakitu. So, uh, I need some, this amount, I'll talk to Sako. Yeah. So, ju sasa pia wewe, pia uko na budget yako, yu, yu, pia unaishi maisha yako, tofauti. You yeah. also need your money. You yourself, you need your money. So, mm. why should I be coming to fix myself to you? Yeah. yeah. Somebody who says January could be 45 days and not uh, 30 or 31.
But the emoji in Asia, I just the calendar 2024. 31 days. 31 days. So those are 31 days of prayer and fast. <laughs> for, those, <laughs> for those that are fasting for, for, for the nation and mm -hmm. also for yourself. But also, oh, when you look at uh, the people that are having fun, you wonder where they're getting the money. How to when you're on a post, okay, have Sherehe, January. In fact, yeah, uh, as of yesterday, so I don't want to mention the names, but they're really having a good time. In fact, I may check in to Sasa Kova Kishon Yaki Sasa. I may check in Zana at a very expensive place uh, outside Kenya. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where are they getting the money? Eh, <laughs> uh, uh, <coughs> okay. I think. The secret to being rich is actually finding out where that money comes from and you are able to sustain your well to have that money. Or yeah. Like, kama tunachotanga maji kwa shimo fulani, if you are able to kuchota as easy as you can, ama ate kue ngumu but you are able to fetch it, <laughs> uh, then tunakuanga tu poa. Nevertheless, I think, uh, unafaa ku plan. You should be able to plan out yourself. So as much as that, ukiendo usha go, ata, ata wale watu kusha go, black tax, black tax, black tax squeezy meko, inaza kuwa kitu ngumu sana. Yeah. No na watu wana yongelelea sana, it's becoming... Does it depend with the parents? <laughs> like, kuna wale wazazi wenye. She's of, of course your parents, your parents attack you are overbearing, over demanding. She's mm -hmm. still, or he's still your dad and your mom. Always remember, hey, mom, so many chosha, you know. But I think we should also normalize being honest. Say, hey, mom, anyway, I only have like <laughs> this and this amount. And then she can throw in a Bible verse and say, oh, the Bible says, take care of you. <laughs> You'll have a long life. But, uh, but also, I feel it depends with the parent. Mm -hmm. There's parents who are even still supportive to their children who are working. And as much as you're working, you have a job, but Baru, but he, still, he or she still makes the call and still sends the money because... Mm. Yes. Hey, my son, how are you? Exactly. Kula so I think it also depends during mm. a black tax. Mm. But also, maybe during their old age, but also they are trying to say parents should normalize saving so that but you are a big burden to your kids because you didn't work hard, you didn't serve, you don't have pension. So I think it's a thing now. Like mm -hmm. People are now open to even having conversation. Mom, do you have savings? Dad, do you have pension? You know, and what do you think about the same? Even like right now, I don't know if your parents are super supportive. Like they make those phone calls to ask when you go quiet for weeks. <laughs> They'll be like, hey, <laughs> are you really okay? And you're like, no, mom, sina pesa, na ten I don't know, Ama, this is a wish. <laughs> I'm in a prayer too. <laughs> Uh, see, I could say, mm -hmm. yeah, my parents personally are that supportive. Yeah, they check in with me, they ask, they chip in where they can. But then, uh, it is now over time, the idea of uh, parents bringing up their children to be their investment for the future, uh, the old perspective is over, do you? It should be written off completely. It's about time that parents now start investing in their own futures. And because they brought us into the world, not saying just saying uh, it is right that they give us a future too but then my future should not be your future plan my future should not be your entire old age plan what do you have apart from me because we can't promise life to we can't say for sure we hopeful i say uh, i'll do well maybe i'll get something in my hand to get some money but then what if i don't have it upon una patanga mzazi anakuchoka you're yeah, now 35, the parent is 70, and they don't want to look at you. They don't want to see you. They see you as an embarrassment. You're a failure. Why am I a failure? It's my life. It's because you put your entire hope in me. The good life that you wanted, you expected it from me. And now I cannot even get the good life for myself. Yeah. And you're complaining more than I am. Yeah. So it's about but time. That's a really deep <laughs> conversation because how many parents are also opening to hearing that? Because mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I know there's so many people that have gone through what you've just said. <laughs> like the parent is 70 and he's looking at you as a failure because you're unable to provide some certain things for them because also your life is not yet structured yeah. because you're struggling through. Mm. And especially now for men, <laughs> since this is man talk. <laughs> I think yeah. You're expected to have settled you have some amount of money, some, um, some connections, actually building, you know, have built something that's, you know, tangible and is bringing income. But and I not just one, several sources of income. But I think people should snap out of that 
uh, okay, my dad used to tell me, um, I'm investing in your future, but I'm investing this for you, not for me. Yeah. I'm taking you to school so that you can make a future for yourself. Yeah. I don't want you to buy a car so that you can come and ca maybe take me to places and everything. If you buy a car, that's your car. Maybe if, if you feel like, if you feel like, yes, my dad deserves a car, then I'll buy it. Yeah? But I think people should snap out of that, that, uh, okay, like, let's invest, let, 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 uh, I'm investing in you yeah. because, I don't want to say it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's January, don't worry. Ata hatu wacha kuona, I think parents wa, wa normalize, pia wawa kona life ya kuishi, na pia yeah. si tukona life yetu ya kuishi. Le, tuwache kui mix sana. Sikatai, si, don't get me wrong. I'm not Na saying that. Ndo, to si te, si semi, mm. to si, si semi we don't take care of our parents. What I'm yeah. trying to say is, it shouldn't be a demand. Yeah, it should. Okay. It should not be a demand. Like, mm. sasa ni memaliza shule mm -hmm. and everyone is pushing you. Sasa Bobby, you know what? Get a job. Get a job. Get a job. Then when you get a job, now your phone can can't stop ringing. Kwa zawa kijua ni end month. Ah, 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 hello, ah. hello. Mm. Home kuna shida. Oh. Kuna sudi nini? <laughs> Tafta nini? <laughs> Because there was a friend of mine that told me a voice note na shoshu yake. And the shoshu is still, shoshu alikuwa na muambia, alikuwa na muambia, tafta kamoja ka digital, kamoja ka zuri. I felt, I felt nice about that though. It was, it was, it was quite catchy. Tafta, tafta, tafta ka zuri. Usu usikuwe na haraka, kwa za alimambia usikuwe na haraka, tafta kamoja ka zuri ka digital. Alimambia ka digital kamoja ka zuri. But I think people should snap out of that. Yeah. Tuwache kukuwa so dependent on, okay, sikatai, I'm an investment to, to my family. Na sikakata. They've poured a lot of resources to my education and everything, into my well-being, to the point hapa penye niko. Yeah. But sasa, okay, nyumba ni si bank, home si bank, atiju wali niweke sasa, lazima ntarudisha. Mm. Lakini sisemi tusirudishe. <laughs> sisemi tusirudishe. Lakini isikuwe like, ni mandatory like you are very very ex like unani expect kabisa 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 sasa nimemaliza yeah. shule wewe ndio uko kazi sasa si tunaweza tulie sasa leta mali mm -hmm. yeah. yeah it should not be like so that. everybody should get their thing together yeah. figure it out mm. but also now like for a season like now ah it's in january in fact ninja <laughs> <laughs> in january my goodness. uh right now uh for people that will not even be able to afford a meal Hopefully you'll be able to afford a meal. That's my prayer. Mm -hmm. uh, where can they turn to? Or who can they run to? <laughs> There's an RB song that says, who can I run to when I need love? But who can you run to when you need food? <laughs> <laughs> who can they run to maybe? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think? Is there anyone who re who's ready to serve someone right now? To say, to say, you need 12K urgently, Saizi. Do you have someone you can call? Because it's already, you know, January is kicking in. This is week two. <laughs> and think, I feel like mm -hmm. January is a good month for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but who do you run to when you need money for food? See, if, if you don't have money for food and you're under that, you have no parent to run to, then I, I can for sure tell you that you have nowhere to run to. <laughs> <laughs> you're your own, your own hope. I think but you have someone to run to and that is God. <laughs> <laughs> if you can, you know that story of Elijah in the Bible where he sent ravens to, to feed, feed him, him and no. they dropped bread and whatever yeah so, such miracles should start happening in this jam you see <laughs> such miracles you see the lord works in mysterious ways for sure amen <laughs> but how mysterious how mysterious i think it's about time that yeah. fellow people friends uh, neighbors uh trust the message that god god is putting in their heart because most of the time you when your neighbor is suffering you are able to tell yeah, in as much as the people try to hide it and focus in their own lives, if yeah. you're just careful enough, you'll be able to tell. And in as much as people sometimes do not want to receive help from somewhere, in case Mutuako stuck and mm -hmm. you're approaching the right way, these people will be grateful. Yeah. And so it's about time because uh, the message of sharing and uh, the, the, the entire Ujumba wa Kushare, God is putting it into the heart of everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Lord is telling me to share, He's telling Bobby to share, He's telling you Sakwa to share. But how many people are sharing, literally? So now, people have prayed to God for provision in January. People have wished for provision in January. Now the Lord is putting the message into the heart of every Kenyan. Yeah, to share. Oh, that is the yeah. message. Yeah, that, that is the is message. That is your message. Or that God's is the message. message. 
Okay. Mm. Share tafadhali kama uko na kilo tatu za rice unaweza share moja na Bobby But ama... I think nezo uliza, nezo uliza. Yeah. let me ask a question what right. what actually makes us human? Mm. Yeah. Is it is it penye tunafikanga tunasema tunasema nga okay when you do a mistake and you do it again then you are seeking for forgiveness and you're like you know what i'm only human yeah. i'm only human and actually so that makes you even more human <laughs> <laughs> human human humanist <laughs> like what yeah. what part of us like that makes us human like i was i was watching uh, a compilation of videos yesterday and people were just helping each other and just don't upon me that uh ho- like how much does it take for just me to help someone yeah, yeah. I saw this guy uh, giving his jacket to a homeless person. He just approaches him. Mm. That guy is amejifunika na paper bag in a very mm. cold city. It's not Nairobi. Nairobi is cold but not that cold. Mm. He just gives uh, gives that guy the jacket. Then that guy ana anava jacket anaingia hapo kwa shop. Anajiona kwa kia he's so excited. He's so excited about it. Yeah. Yeah, like how like okay, ndasema aje nini tafanya tukuwe so open to other people tuweze kusaidiana tuache tuweke vitu zingine kando yeah, we are human na okay si ni watu we are very different from other animals we are tunasema we are social beings yeah aya ah, yeah. one i think approach approach when you take approach as a masking for help from you guys ndio ta determine kama utanisaidia ama hutanisaidia nevertheless naweza ku approach poa lakini pia it's up to you <laughs> you make that decision for yourself you say ah uh amekuja ameniambia ameniambia hata kama hutaki kuniambia no maybe tell me you know what let me think about it yeah eh hey, ukendo useme no na huko mimi nitakuwa by the way nisha maliza story zako by the time uliniambia let me think about it yeah hapa sasa najua we hapa kinaweza oh. umana there's there's a there's a video could have been on no it was in one of the interviews where governor sakaja said um especially people in Nairobi mm-hmm. uh, there's uh, urban he, he called it urban poverty but it, there's a word he used it in one of the interviews where he mentioned that you could be in this city but you're suffering because your next door neighbor hakujui but akona kila kitu na wewe haona anything and you will sleep hungry but because your next door neighbor you don't have a relationship with him or her he or she is bowling bowling meaning having a good time with all the resources that utapita uone fridge meja na kwako hata maji haiko na umekatiwa and still you'll sleep hungry and die there's that as well is it because maybe oh, we we don't have we've not like invested in friendships that can help you especially during a hard time like you know i don't believe for me january is not a hard time maybe for those that are saying january is a hard time uh, to you do you feel like you've not invested in the right circles of friendships and sometimes you're going through a difficult time but you know someone ukimongelesha vizuri anaweza kusaidia for the better part of your entire life what do you think yeah, it's about time there was a uh, i think it was on an interview here somebody was talking about uh, uh, the importance of surrounding yourself with the okay. right people Mm-hmm. It is not helpful to have a large group of friends who do not help you but I think it is just right to have that one friend that you can rely on when times get so hard two people that can help you when the times get hard so like you said I think people are not investing in the right circles of friendship but then still how easy is it to tell or how easy is it to get that true friend in the society today i can say that uh, humanity like you said humanity is complex mm-hmm. humanity is selfish the same humanity is selfless so how do we go about this i think it's just about time that people learn to live in a different way there are different principles of life there are christian principles of life there are atheist principles of life and there are traditional aspects of life but one thing that brings this together is that in all these perspectives and principles mm-hmm. there is some uh, act of uh, selflessness that is appreciated uh, that the, the virtues are appreciated in these societies mm-hmm. all of them in the principles yeah, it's about time that uh, we stop living there is a way of life in Nairobi and part of it is what you said si lazima ni jirani what for yeah. your worst day could be tomorrow 
or mm -hmm. even after here. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe that neighbor is just saving grace. But I so might have the you interest of Kujua Jirani, but does mm -hmm. Jirani have the interest of knowing me? Uh, sometimes, yeah. you know, you know, there's some things that it's you to make the initiative, <laughs> not <it>. them. <laughs> when you're approaching a girl, do you expect her to say, hi, I like you? Mm -hmm. Yes, it happens. There's those that say, hi, I like you. But 90% mm -hmm. of the time, it's you doing the work. Hey, I like you. Can we talk? I say, man, no or yes. Mm -hmm. So also, it, I feel like it applies here as well. <laughs> say hello to your neighbor. Mm -hmm. Personally, I'm a great beneficiary of all my neighbors, whatever I've stayed <laughs> <laughs> on my best and my worst days. They're like my fam. So mm -hmm. I, I think your neighbor can help you to yeah, yeah, navigate can. through this uh, January if it's difficult for you. Like the they're saying it's in January, mm -hmm. like lower thirds. <laughs> mm. yeah. yeah. So I think it's about people to, to make the initiative. But I could say, Sakwa, uh, let the art of seduction be left for the whatever seduction should be really for. <laughs> <laughs> I see I, what I, you're I, doing. I, I, I don't, I don't uh, have to seduce you as my neighbor. So you just say hi. Uh, Me uh, to a Bayer, uh, to yeah. nah, I'm staying here. L let's keep it Anaza open. And as a child trafficking, uh, we'll say DM2, you know? It's called Jeffrey Epstein, illustrated Jeffrey Epstein, the one we yeah, talked yeah. about. <laughs> But also, uh, I actually have some few minutes and then we go. Mm -hmm. uh, for those that are coming to the city, do you think they should be ready for a hot mess? I might just come back slowly, relax, life in the answer. And then also there's that thing that, you know, it's a new year. You know, things are a little bit sluggish. Even uh, I, saw, I, saw, I, saw, I saw a clip online yesterday of somebody's day one at work. Alikuja mm -hmm. kaingevi, akasha computer, ka take 20 minutes, akaboeka, ka left, like, hana your patience in yalikuwa nayo in the previous year, you are mechoka. So uh, do you feel like the people coming back to the city should just be ready for a fire, a fire week? Because it's going to be tea for tough. And then also, it's also a week uh, that children are going to school, back to school, even for parents. Uh, you've seen in the daily, we highlighted, there's a cash crunch. Uh, we've just come from the festivities. For those that did not serve for the KCSE uh, candidates that are going to uni, or those that will not even manage to go to higher learning. Mm -hmm. Also, I, I, is help now easily available? I, I really don't know. Uh, but should they just expect a, a hot mess? I might just take it easy. In short, I'm just asking, what are some of the hacks for people coming back to Nairobi? Maybe towards mid Jan <laughs> Apple. I'm also towards the end, because I know there's people who will come back in Feb. Because they'll be like, hey, January is too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Bobby, uh, I think I think January January has a lot has a lot of things that are happening. Back to school, uh, paying fees, shopping. Uh, you you've just come back to your house. Your house looks like a mess. You need to clean up. You need to go get things that are not. Uh, you need to do some shopping. You uh, maybe you have Christmas, Mzima Mzima, umekula, zingine utoshei. <laughs> but I think you need to turn down your appetite because <laughs> you're used to good things mm, and you now he is cabbage knocking at your door. Yeah, there was that video before 20 Christmas. Eh? Yeah. Akipewa mtoto akipewa ugali anakula. Akipewa mchele anakula. Akipewa chai anakula. Now you're back to Nairobi and sasa hakuna mambo ya kukula kukula bila kujali. You have to worry about the next minute. Now yeah. Uh, coming Is back it to even it. necessary to worry about the next minute? <laughs> I believe there's mm -hmm. even been tougher times than January. And yeah. you survived and you still went for the festivities <laughs> and you're back. Mm -hmm. Why should January be a monster? I think you're just giving January the, the attention it needs as January. <laughs> yeah, in fact, it's mm. Nja. Mm. Nja, <laughs> meaning, meaning there's mm. problem to skip some meals. I'm not mm. January. I think. I'm going to out 24-7. Okay, I think like for example, for example, Kamani, okay, let me speak on maybe behalf on some comrades, yeah? Uh, unapata kama sahi, January ndo imerudi. So ndo umeanza, umeanza rent, uh, ununwe vitu za nyumba, kuna fipi na kuja. E, yo yato kieka, hivi mara moja, it's a, it's a, yo pesa ni mingi, at once. Yeah. At once. I think, nijue ile demand enye hiko, the demand for the cash. Yeah. Uh, and also could. the cost of living is really high. <laughs> yeah. We can continue to learn <laughs> that. <laughs> you and I, it will be permanent. Yeah. Uh, the cost of living, the cost of living. is super high. Maisha ina kuangumu, unasahawata, we ni comrade, we, bana ina kuangumu. Inaanza kukupeleka mbio hapa na pale. 
You remember we said the value of a thousand now is five hundred, Bob. Yeah. The value of a thousand, Bob, is five hundred. And the value of five hundred is two hundred. The value of two hundred is fifty, mm. Bob. Yeah. Now fifty, yeah. Bob, is mere less like ten, Bob. There's nothing much you can do with it. All right. Lastly, as we exit, uh, Byron, what do you think are some of the survival uh, tricks that people can use, especially now comrades? And then also as a man, you know, it's it's, it's just difficult. Sijuka usha iskia dema kisema ataki mwana umeana pesa. Sijuka usha iskia. Ana pesa. It's part of like the, part of the things. Wana angalia akora pesa. Ama. Kama hana. That's a red flag. And this is Jan. So how do you bring that? And can you even maintain a relationship now? Ama itabidi watu wakue single kidogo watakua back into the relationship in Feb na maja. Kuza una. You ski over some kama hana pesa si pite up. Mm. Ome draw line. How will you survive as a man? As a man it becomes difficult. First of all to ladies, if they want a man with money then most of these ladies are going to go without men and lots of men are going to not lots, very few men are going to go with a lot of ladies because it's not most people that have that money that they want. And then I think survival in general right now I think we all we need is a definite financial plan. To push you through but if you can have a plan and you don't have the money how yeah. you're budgeting for you're, you're praying for breakthrough <laughs> for <laughs> let's say a thousand dollars and you're budgeting for it until god answers the prayer <laughs> we, we, we say like uh in as much as we pray for something yeah uh, the lord blesses the work of our hands nice mm. so you can borrow a loan mm. the lord helps those who help themselves yeah, exactly. i disagree yeah. mm. <laughs> the lord helps those who helps themselves Lazima. remember if it's not in god's <laughs> will it will fall <laughs> <laughs> As you help yourself, God is watching you. Yeah, help God is yourself. watching. I don't think I, I, I can just pray for food and then go back to sleep. Mm. Yeah. So pray for food. I'm like, 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 <laughs> but hey, right now, let me tell you, as you go back home, trust me, you will thank me, you will thank me in February. <laughs> you will talk to me uh, in actually, my DM. I used Say to hello to all, I even the new ones. Neighbor. I used to have this neighbor. Yeah. She was, mahali yako kama ata niyona leo, betewe, may God bless you sana. She was, she used to be this mother figure to, her, to me and to my friends, that it was, ili kwanga tu poa sana. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Alikuwa yeah, anakaa hivyo. Anakanatembea yeah. tembea, anakuja na anatupea tu maziwa. Mm. Eh, yeah, atakuja maybe saa zingine atupe kaunga. It was na sia tujitumekosa. Yeah. But she was just she was the ma- okay, she was the, the Nairobi mother. The mother we have in Ushago but yeah. Nairobi sasa. Yeah, mm. she used to be really 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 nice. Yeah. Ni mahali yako barikiwe na Mungu amuongezee bana. Asiwe ikosa. <laughs> Mtu akisema hivyo jua lisaidiwa. So, uh, I could say uh, like I was saying uh, the Lord you, blesses. Have you agreed it's important to know your neighbor in general? It is. <laughs> 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 Because you unaweza kosa unaweza kosa kula lunch na ukula supper kwa neighbor. Yeah, okay. sure. I usually have those friends who call Sako si ukuje tu ukule breakfast. I'm like, bro, I'm fasting. Mm-hmm. But naona sasa I'm coming. Anyone who said ni kule breakfast na kuja mm-hmm. after hapa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, if um, the, by the plan I mean you can acquire money from various parts, um, uh, various ways it means. Just do something that could generate you some money. Yeah. If you are a company, including selling some of your house mm-hmm. stuff, right? If that's survival then that is it. And then you can buy them in when in you have the money. March. Yes, and you get the money back. A TV that you're not using. Mm. Yeah. So if, if maybe if maybe you're a parent then and you're sending a yeah. child to school, then you can acquire a loan. You can acquire a loan from a bank and figure out how to settle maybe the entire fee. Don't be greedy. If you acquire the loan, don't be greedy and uh, maybe send the child to school with some part of the fee because January is still long and maybe yeah. tomorrow is not promised to. If I want to take the loan for the fee, then pay the fee. Yeah. Mm. Just have a clear and definite financial plan and you'll push through, you'll survive. Yeah. Mm. And I think that's where we end it because we are out of time. Mm. Uh, Bobby, you can handle it. You at Bobby who just more than that. Oh, Instagram is underscore Gashoro. Underscore Gashoro. Yours is at Byron Ochino. 
All right, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, I feel like you've become like the faces of this show because <laughs> last year you were here <laughs> not once, not twice, not thrice. And Karibu San and Happy New Year. Good to see you guys again. Good to see you. Too. All right, uh, we'll definitely see you tomorrow for Health and uh, Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Today we are anticipating the release of KCC examinations. I understand as we speak right now, we have uh, the Cabinet Secretary, Ezekiel Machogu, who is on podium. Act actually, uh, the last time we checked on you on the show, they had issued a statement. But yeah, if you heard a candidate that sent for KCC today, they know their fate. Fat is just a word to scare you. They will know the results of their performance. <laughs> In short, Chanana, English. This is January. So tell us tomorrow, did you have a, a relative or are you, are you watching yourself that stand for KCC? Please don't hesitate to tag us your results. If you got A, B plus, D. By the way, KCC results are not the final results of your life. There's life outside exams and trust me, I'm a testimony to that. Big time. All right. My name is Ban Sakwa at Y254 Channel. Everywhere. Hashtag go in the morning. We'll see you tomorrow for Health and Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Happy New Year. See you tomorrow. What's up, everybody?